when I was 16, I was playing softball and it was just a freak accident. When I was 14 years old, I had an injury due to a fall in hockey. What happened was the pain went away everywhere except in my legs. When I was 12, I was in a motor vehicle accident. Prior to then, I was very athletic. I was swimming, doing soccer, doing volleyball. I acquired a disease called chronic regional pain syndrome. Before I got my CRPS, I was doing hockey, taekwondo. Once I got my CRPS, I slowly declined, stopped doing sports whatsoever, even just going outside to take a walk. Like one of the biggest things I found with my pain was the risk of having more pain. Obviously, I wasn't able to do as much. I was scared to get started and being active because I wasn't sure if I do something wrong, then I'd make myself worse. After I was um, injured by the softball, I went through a period of trying to figure out what activities would actually work for me. So one of the things I tried at first was something I used to do, which was playing soccer. And um, I was running and I had to stop halfway through and leave the game because the pain was just too intense. I had to figure out something new. So one of the things I recommended was yoga. What's great about yoga is it's something that you can definitely modify the positions for in order to still get a workout, but at the same time, not cause an increase of your pain. When my pain started. It started when I was infected with the swine flu virus. I tried to keep doing all the things I'd been doing before and it was incredibly painful so I had to stop doing a lot of the things I love. So when I reevaluated what I can and can't do I decided well my legs are bad but the rest of me seems pretty all right so I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna use my arms, get cardio by using a resistant spinning machine like that. And There are definitely alternatives uh, to what I can do to stay physically active. You just have to look hard enough. I was in a lot of pain and there was not much that I could actually do. So my father came up with the idea to buy Guitar Hero, which I would play, trying to move my arm just even slightly, just to, for some sort of entertainment and physiotherapy combined. That started getting my arm moving. I tried incorporating that into my daily routines and exercises. Eventually, it turned into more than just uh, a physiotherapy, it turned into a hobby. Some strategies I used was not to push myself and go day by day. I wouldn't think how I was the day before. I'd always think present moment, how I am now. There are good days, there are bad days. Like now I'm actually attending a fitness class, so I'm actually doing weightlifting and all that. Again, I there's days where I'm doing eight pounders on dumbbells and then there's times where I'm doing five pounders. So it just, it's a matter of coping with yourself and knowing how to push your body and when not to push it. The CRPS kind of brought me down to a very depressive state and having something to excel in really brought a purpose back into my life. Even if it was a game or an act, the actual guitar, or if I could play one song, I achieved something and that's something I hadn't done in about two years. Some of the benefits I have are definitely improved mood. After a workout, you know, you just feel good. You feel good about yourself. It really helped me with social connections because I was able to go to my friends and say, hey, do you want to try Zumba? It was just a great way to feel almost normal. Some benefits that I've noticed with physical activity is that I feel better within myself physically. When I go to yoga class, there's times where I don't feel well, but I still will go to make myself feel better. So I'm able to do a lot more stuff. I'm able to get out, like go to school more. As opposed to when I wasn't doing physical activity, I was feeling really down. I didn't really want to do much physically. I go to physio and strengthening the muscles around my legs means that they don't need to rely on the joints as much. So it's less wear and tear. I realize that it's important and it's gonna prevent me from getting worse in the future. Take care of yourself now and future you will be thankful.